Hello everyone, my name is Hayati and I'm an application engineer at RapidScan 3D and today I'm going to show you guys how to align the part and first thing what we do is we do auto segmentation and after that um, we take a look at the part and see how we can correctly align it to the world coordinate system and what we're looking at right now is I'm basically identifying where the planes are so I can get my part correctly uh, align it to the world coordinate system. So first I'm going to pick the bottom. And after that, I'm going to sketch. Let's hide those. And then I'm going to create the mesh sketch. And move my plane. So I can find the center of that hole. You can do auto sketch. It selects all the mesh polylines. I'm going to delete these. And turn it into a construction line. My goal is basically get my world coordinate system moved to that particular location that I just created. So we go ahead, we're going to edit that. We're going to find the center line. It's going to snap perpendicular. After we create that, Normal to that, and we'll create another 90. After that, we exit. Now, intersection points are important. So, what we're going to do, we're going to put select that line and then point, and that's going to give a 90 degree. And then we'll go ahead and click on that, and that point. Now I have my three points selected. And create it. Now I'm going to go to interactive alignment. And select that one. And if you hover over, that's perfect. We can switch the direction. Click on that and click OK. Now if you do Alt 1, First, we're going to delete these. We don't need them anymore. And if you click Alt 1, Alt 2, Alt 3, and you can see my world coordinate system is perfectly aligned. Now I can start sketching, creating my model. Now, after we align the part, now I can correctly um, start building my model. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the bottom piece and then I'm going to do exactly what I did earlier and I'm going to create my uh, sketches. Well, there's a one option I, could have, I wanted to show you guys and the wizards actually. You can select the, the extrusion, extrusion wizard. Uh, what you do is you select the top, bottom and sides and automatically uh, the software gives me the model. And let's take a look at it. There it is. I can adjust the height by just grabbing the cursor. And select that. It looks kind of crooked a little bit, but what I do is I can go back and edit. I can change the up to region. To blind, and I can just gradually select it to the, the height that I want it. And here it is. It's very quick, very helpful if you're in a rush. Okay. 
after I align the part, create the first uh, model, now I'm going to focus on uh, creating the cylinder. What I'm doing now is basically isolating that cylindrical shape so I can get correct uh, geometry. And that's going to give me the um, correct segments. And that way I can hover over and then create my um, the, uh, model. And what I'm doing now is basically um, selecting the surface and then custom revolution axis. So I, my axis will be perpendicular to that. And as you see, I can go back and adjust. My part, I want solid merge, and here it is 360. And this is a cast model, so it's kind of a little bit difficult to, um, to get all sides uh, evenly um, because it's um, probably worn out. And not machined properly or not being uh, clean. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take care of these few areas. Time to time, this happens, and all you need to do is just basically adjust your sketches based on the polyline. And you can drag this all the way up here and then trim it, or I can create my own. And then trim, corner trim, select that, and that, Oops, done. Drag this line, so it will merge it into my olive model. And here it is. And now I'm going to focus on building that cylindrical shape. After I build my model, section by section I can transfer the part to the SOLIDWORKS I can add uh, features, I can delete features, I can modify it uh, as you see I'm really close to the model itself uh, especially when the part is casted uh, there, there will be some surface imperfection or some non-symmetrical features uh, this is pretty normal and then after that um, machinist takes over and then cleans the part and ready for production. Next thing what we're going to do is we're going to take the part and light transfer it to SOLIDWORKS. And in this process what the software does is basically takes on all the sketches and light transfers uh, and then the SOLIDWORKS builds the part throughout the process and you don't have to do anything uh, because it's already been built in the software and what the software does is basically takes every sketch from the design X and then transfers it to SolidWorks and then uh, time to time you might get some of the errors and all you need to do is just pause it and then go back and then uh, basically fix the issue and then continue from where you left off so that's pretty common issue uh, because what happens is um, during the uh, building process uh, DesignX is quite a bit, bit of a relaxed software so it, it is, uh, you don't have to get involved in the SOLIDWORKS side if your model is built correctly and no errors. Uh, from time to time I get fillet issues I just have to go back in and then clear out but other than that as you see it's smoothly transferring all the all the stuff that I design in design X after that um, I can adjust the fillets, um, I can change the fillet diameters, uh, change the, the hole, 
sizes. I can basically edit this part um, and then modify it as my customer desires. There will be some areas the scanner sometimes don't see the surfaces clean. And so what happens is you might get some blue um, areas, which is normal. So, but and as you see, my part is completed, and everything that part has from the scan data is transferred over to SolidWorks and all feature base intelligent design and thanks for watching